Do you have a favorite rocket engine? Maybe a jet engine? I sure do. Oh boy, do I. I know a little something about scramjets. They're an insane type of jet engine used in experimental planes that go Mach 10. That's 7,000 miles per hour, which is, you know, just an order of magnitude greater than the speed you can go in a regular plane. And the <laughs> that one fast plane you've always heard about, the SR-71 Blackbird, the plane that could fly over Russia during the Cold War without a problem because it outran the rocket-propelled missiles that would be fired at it, that went Mach 3, which means the old Blackbird would watch helplessly as a scramjet aircraft blows right by it at Mach 7. And before I begin to explain how they do that and attempt to explain just how fast that really is, it's important that you at least know uh, what a normal jet engine is so you can really understand how bonkers these things are. A turbine jet engine on your average plane is essentially just a really complicated fan that controls the crazy 500 mile per hour wind coming in at it so the even crazier slow explosion of fuel inside the jet can continue to spin more fans and propel the plane. An extra fancy jet engine, like the ones in the old Blackbird, uh, is even more complicated because in addition to causing a second, even crazier explosion in the jet's exhaust to get even more speed, that's the afterburner, that 500 mile per hour wind coming in is now going Mach 3. So more complex fans made of exotic nickel rhenium super alloys are needed to make sure that the original crazy explosion happening inside the jet engine doesn't get too much or too little air. But scramjets Scramjets operate on an entirely different playing field. At scramjet speeds, the air coming into the jet is going at least Mach 4.5, or much higher, Mach 10. And at that speed, it heats up everything it touches to several hundred degrees Celsius. And those crazy super alloy turbines and other jet engines exist to slow down, compress, and attempt to control that fast air before it goes in and explodes in the middle of the jet engine. But you can't control Mach 10 air, it's just too fast. So scramjets don't even try. They achieve that ridiculous Mach 10 speed with no moving parts. Instead of controlling and compressing the air with complex turbine systems, a scramjet just lets the air it's flying through compress itself by ramming into it like a ramjet with what is essentially a big funnel at the front of the engine, but the air remains supersonic all the way through the jet engine. At the point where the pressure from this uh, funneling is just right, fuel is added into the supersonic airstream where it explodes, propelling the air even faster through the back of the engine and the plane shoots along going at Mach 10. That's how a scramjet with no moving parts propels a plane through the stratosphere at 7,000 miles an hour. That's not twice as fast as you go in your car driving on the freeway, of course. It's not even twice as fast as twice as fast as you go on the freeway, which would be 280 miles an hour. It's 25 times faster than that. <laughs> that is truly ludicrous speed. What was that?